Hello there. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and, and leave us a comment so that we can improve our channel and, and you help spread the Buddha Dharma. So if you would please put your palms together for a meditation reading. My personal trials have always taught me the value of unmerited suffering. As my suffering mounted, I soon realized that there were two things that I could respond to my situation, either to react with bitterness or to transform the suffering into a creative force. Martin Luther King, 1929 to 1968, American civil rights leader and minister. If you would please join me in Gosho. Namu Amidas, Namu Amidas, Namu Amidas, Namu Amidas, Namu Amidas, Namu Amidas. Last night I was full of myself. My ego was present. I was going to bake a cake that was going to be an not only outstanding, but a masterpiece. I went shopping for all fresh produce and, and ingredients, came home, made a perfect puree. Um, I set out all my equipment. I got ready. <clears throat> I whipped up my egg whites as directed, light and fluffy and very stiff. I set the oven temperature, and I made the batter. I was ready. My eagle was on high alert. Well, things started to go very wrong, and my eagle started to ball. One, my two pan leaked. The batter leaked out of the two pan and was burning on the oven floor. And it was stinky. Oh, there's nothing like burnt cake smell lingering in the house. But the cake looked good and it was rising as it should have been. I baked it until the required time. I converted the pan upside down to, to let it cool. Then, wait for it, my cake fell out. My cake was still raw. Then I went through a brief grieving period that eventually turned into anger and blame. It was not my mistake, but the recipe, or the oven, or the two pan. I did everything right. I followed the directions to the T. But it was my I that made the mistake. I set the oven temperature too high. I let my ego take the lead, but I blamed it on the recipe, the two pan, the directions. I found blame on everything except 
myself. My ego only saw that masterpiece. But through all these mistakes, I did learn some things about myself. I learned how my greed or desires is so great and that this greed clouded my thoughts. It also showed me how my anger blamed others without me taking on the responsibility. And it showed me how my ignorance or belief that the I did everything accordingly. And I had to admit, my ego made me tired. But it was my Nembutsu, my Namu Amidabutsu, that made me stop and think. I was able to carefully evaluate where my mistakes were made by reading the recipe with an accurate eye. I, this kind of eye. Well, duh, I allowed my ego to see only my desire. My ego caused my sufferings. So, it is back to the kitchen to try once again, hopefully without the I getting in the way and without anger and ignorance that will lead to no more sufferings. So if you would please join me in Gasho. Namu Amidawas. Namu Amidawas. Namu Amidawas. Namu Amidawas. Thank you for listening today.